So Jerry, what is this? Well, this is a jade plant that I brought from home, and it's got a little aloe thrown in. It's got a bunch of other stuff here. I'm not even sure what it is. And, uh, okay, well, let me look at this again here. Now, we've got some jade, mm -hmm. like you said, and there's a little bit of aloe vera, and it looks like we have some homegrown grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope right. it's not that. Okay. Um, so what do you want to do today with these plants? And do you have some questions about them, or did you want me to do something, or what do you need? Well, I'd like to know a little bit about the care of it and um, why it's leaning over so much uh, in, in this direction. This is leaning in this direction. It's just leaning all different directions. So I'm kind of wondering how, if I can take better care of it somehow. And I notice it has a couple some white spots on the leaves here. I don't know if that's an indication of a problem or... All right. Um, I would say the, the white spots on here looks like residue from something it was sprayed with at some point in time. I wouldn't worry oh, about okay. it too much. Okay. Uh, you can always clean off the leaves with some ivory soap and water if, if you want to. Okay. And um, also, why it's leaning like this, I suspect, is because it's not getting quite enough light to hold itself up and it's actually rather top heavy. What I would do if I were you is put it outside in the shade. It's really nice and bright out there for the summer and okay. then bring it in before the frost and put it back in your window and pretty soon the leaves will fall off and it'll get some direct sun again. Okay. But I think that will give it more sufficient light. Can, can I leave it out in the rain and thunderstorms and things sure. like that? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, it's highly unlikely that it'll get overwatered outside, even if it rains a lot, as long as you have it in a well-drained pot. Okay. Um, so the other thing you could do is to pinch it back, and maybe we'll do that in a little bit, like right about here, and then that'll get it to stand more upright, and then you can root this piece also and add it to the plant. You can either do it right away, just stick it right back in the soil, or root it in water first, oh, okay. whatever you'd like to do. But I really would recommend, this pot is just way too big for this plant, and, and you really can't appreciate its beauty in this size, and, and this grass is really not a house plant. <laughs> I, I was wondering about that. I don't think it's very attractive. And no. It was given to me as a gift, so, so I wasn't sure what to do with it. So. Okay, so why don't we just separate these, and we'll put... We'll put the little aloe vera here in its own pot. We'll put the jade in its own pot, and then we'll just get rid of the grass. Okay, and great. And then take the pot home. Great. Okay. Well, I have a couple pots right down here I'll get for you. Now, this one actually does not have drainage in it, but it's shallow, and I think that the jade, you know, will live in it quite nicely, and not only that, it'll be, it'll look good in there, but then I wouldn't put this outside for the summer. I would put it in a window that gets direct sun most of the year. So okay. can you do that? Sure. I, I can find a window in my house. Okay. I think. Great. So I'll get started repotting it for you. Okay. Here. Great. So tell me, where did you get this plant anyway? Well, a friend of mine was leaving the country. He was going to Czechoslovakia for, for two years, and he had a little going away party, and he gave it to me. Oh, at the party? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Was he giving plants away as party favors? Yeah, yes, he was. He gave away a lot of them <laughs> that night. And I can't wait to write him and tell him that his plant was on TV. <laughs> That's great. That's mm -hmm. a good way to remember somebody. Mm -hmm. He'll be excited. Okay, this is separating really easily because there isn't that much of a root system okay. since the pot was so big. So we'll get put the grass over here. I'd, I'll be glad to get rid of that. Okay. And then I'm going to, I can tell I'm going to need to add a little bit of potting soil on the bottom here. Now this soil I've got here has quite a bit of sand in it. And with a succulent plant like the jade, and what I mean by that, basically what succulent means is that it holds in water. You know, cactus kind or like succulents, cactus. Mm -hmm. for example, right? Mm -hmm. I recommend a little more sandy soil because it, it drains a little better, dries out a little bit faster. So that's what we'll use. Okay. So do, how many other plants do you have in your home? Oh, I have about six or seven. I have a Dreisena, I have a uh, Ficus, uh, and I have a, uh, a Christmas cactus, I guess is what you call it. Uh-huh. They, they all seem pretty happy. The Dreisena, I think, is getting too much sun, so I need to, I keep on moving it further and further away from the window. Oh, I see. What's it doing that makes you think it's getting the, too the, much the sun? The leaves are sort of turning yellow, yellowish on it. Uh-huh. From the bottom? The bottom of your leaves turning yellow? Right, and then at the tips of the leaves. Oh, okay. Yellow. And 
Is it happening a lot or just like a couple? Um, just, just a couple leaves, just a couple. Every once in a while? It's a pretty continual problem. It's pretty, pretty consistent. I'm is it like a few a month or like 10 or 12 a month, would you say? Just a couple months. of months. It's the, it's the same leaves that seem, seem to do it every month. Uh, and I, I'm having trouble correcting it. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't sound like too big of a problem, but I bet it's not the light. It may be that you're watering it just a little bit much. Oh, okay. That could be. That would be my most likely. What I would suspect first, what you want to do is stick your finger down in the soil with the Dracaena as far down as you can feel. It should feel nice and dry. So check that next time. Okay. Because I suspect that's not how you were watering it before. No, it, it sounds like I may be overwatering it now that, now that you mention it. <clears throat> okay. So now, are you aware of the difference that the house plants make in your house as far as cleaning the air for you? You know, I've heard that they, they filter out things like benzene and formaldehyde and uh, all sorts of That's true. Na nasty mm -hmm. things. And, you know, the way they're building houses these days, they're sealed up tight for energy efficiency. I think it's important to have plants in your house. And Absolutely. For, for health reasons. <laughs> okay. That's looking good. Yes, it's looking much better here, and in fact, I still have a piece of grass on it. But now I'm going to ask you if it's okay if I pinch it back sure. just a little bit, because this is still top-heavy. And if, also, if you break off on a jade, if you break off one of its leaves like this, as you can see, even this will root. Oh. It'll start getting oh. little roots out of the end there, and you, so you can stick that right back in the soil, and you can pinch this back as much as you want. I'm going to take off a couple inches here, just about this much, and I'm going to remove the bottom two leaves because it'll give, it'll have more stem that's actually underneath the soil, so more a chance of roots, you know, coming out of it. So mm -hmm. we'll just stick that right in there, and that's really all you have to do. They generally will root that easily. That looks nice. So We'll just clean this up here, and as you can see, this looks much prettier in here than it did in there. You can even, you can tell it's a, a, a plant. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very nice. Now, we also have the little aloe vera here to tend to, and I think what I'm going to do is, do you have a little pot at home? Do you have any pots sitting around? Oh, uh, yes, I do. I have a whole stack of them in my backyard. Like, like something maybe even smaller than this? Matter of fact, I do. Great, because this is such a tiny little plant, this little aloe vera. I would just put it in a tiny little pot. Plants actually grow better if they're in a pot that's not too big for them. If you put them in a pot that's too big for them, it seems like they spend all their time making roots. So if you'll take this home, and I'll wrap it up for you and put it in a little pot, put it in some sun, it'll do great. Okay, wonderful. Well, thanks a lot, Jerry, for showing me your plants, and I hope these do really well for you. Thank you, Liz. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.